so hello everyone a few hours ago i filmed the arabic version review of this video which is a review of a book um, presenting the most of the works of the syrian uh, poet nizar qabbani and i had to go to the gym so <laughs> i'm here filming the english videos so uh he here am i saying like every english video here it has an arabic version on the other channel and a short arabic one on my instagram and tiktok i'll try to link everything on this channel so i don't think this video is going to be long because the the entire book is in arabic so i thought of like either saying the poems in arabic but then i thought like why it's not gonna be useful if i say it in arabic and then i thought okay i'm gonna like translate them but i think it's go not gonna be easy and still it's not gonna be like the original text so i'm gonna talk briefly about nizar qabbani and uh, his life and stuff and for people who like speak arabic they can read the book so, uh, by the way, I'm filming in a different place, in a different setting, because I don't have an air conditioner <laughs> in my usual place. Too many personal information. Okay. So, we can sacrifice anything for the air conditioner in this weather, right? I hope my voice is loud and clear. Nizar Qabbani is a Syrian poet and diplomat born in Damascus, Syria. He lived most of his life in Beirut, Lebanon, and in Syria, and uh, at the very end of his life, he was, like, in Paris and in uh, Switzerland. So, uh, he is a very famous poet that was concerned about love, uh, women, or, like, um, singing to the woman as, like, um, romantic and the flirtation kind of poetry I, I don't know how to say this in English and he was also uh, always writing about politics especially uh, after the 1967 war okay so he was mostly he was like the poet of love and women like the romantic poet but he also was a very good poet in the politics thing and the politics field he also wrote about he also wrote many other in many other topics and he was like revolutionary and like strong you see strength and you see like revolution and stuff in his uh, words um he had many like sad stories or sad incidents in his life first one his sister she committed suicide after her family made her marry a man she doesn't love second one was his son at a very young age he died from an illness and like the third one that was like uh, one of the saddest uh, his wife the second one he married twice, one Syrian woman and one woman, Iraqi woman from Iraq. His second wife, like, but they were not like at the same time. So this woman was his only wife and this woman was his only wife at the time. So uh, Bilqis Arrawi, the Iraqi wife, she was killed. And then he said, um, it's the responsibility of the entire Arab world. So he like, he didn't forgive this and he wrote a poem uh, na named uh, uh, her name like Bilqis and it was after his death to like condolences and stuff and it was very sad um, Nizar Qabbani was like a very sensitive poet and I do consider him a feminist and uh, I didn't feel like he was belittling women or anything I think he was thinking always that women are amazing people that should be um, mentioned and that like deserve attention and stuff so I consider him a <laughs> like an activist or something 
and of course he's an artist his words and his language are very strong uh, I really liked the book I'm still reading it it's a very big book and of course this big book is not all of his works he has like 35 um, like not 35 poems or 35 books okay so um, I think this video is becoming <laughs> long uh, so I think Nizar was like a person a hero a poet that I consider is still alive he died 19 98 I was born 1999 so yeah he was 75 and he asked that he wanted to um, like be buried in his city the mosques in Syria and it happened uh, so I think that uh, he is the example of the perfect um, artist I do recommend him and all of his works so yeah this was uh, Nizar Qabbani the Syrian poet so that's it see you next time